Okay, as assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, I was thinking about what I should talk about and I realized I never shared about any of the vacations I went on while I was over in Dubai. Um, and the UAE is really close to Africa, so a group of us went to Tanzania. And over there they called it Tanzania. So if I say it different, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm used to saying Tanzania, but then it's... Anyways. Um, while I was over there, a bunch of crazy things happened. But I think the craziest thing happened was when we were stopped by the army. And so, let me explain a little bit. We drove back and forth from the airport to our hotel, which was actually really, really far. It was like two hours away. Um, and these little rickshaw types of things, they're um, motorcycles with like wagons attached to the back and there's no window or like no walls on either side. And so, so three of us could sit in the back and then the driver was in front. And uh, so we're driving along and then the driver sees one of his buddies and he picks up his buddies and the buddies like somehow squeezes in next to the driver and there's hardly any room. So we're driving along some more and then he's like, oh no, the police are here. The, the, they're looking for us. And I was like, what the crap? And so we, he pulls into the bushes and we hide for a little while and we're like, what is going on? So we wait there for about um, 10 minutes and then we get up and we, we drive away again. And uh, then we get to uh, right outside the airport and there's a group of army soldiers sitting down with machine guns and uh, in the States you're not really used to seeing army soldiers with really big machine guns and so everyone was a little nervous. Um, and then they start talking to our driver, but we don't know what they're saying, of course, and so, um, he, I get the money out, and I try to hang, like, hand it to him, because, like, they're all yelling and shouting, and sur they, they've surrounded our, um, our taxi, rickshaw, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, the, the, the taxi driver, like, gives us a look, like, put the money away, um, and so what the what it, what it turn what um we find out is the army soldiers with their machine guns pointed at us were demanding that the taxi driver give them half of what we were going to pay him. And uh, my friend next to me is is crying and I'm laughing because apparently that's what I do when I get nervous. I just laugh. Um, and luckily the the friend Michaela, my friend on my other side was was calm and collected um because i don't i've never had a machine gun pointed at me in my life and that was a little different and so we get out um we we tell the the army soldiers that oh these are just our friends they were giving us a ride um yada 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 and michaela being very smooth, I hand her my money, and she goes up to the buddy and shakes his hand and says, thank you very much, but she had the money in the hand and she, like, slid it to him. And so, um, we were able to give him the money without them having to give up pretty much their whole salary to the, to the army soldiers. Um, and then we walk away, we walk, we had to get out from there and then walk the rest of the way into the, uh, to the airport, but the whole time I felt like there was going to be someone putting a bullet into the back of my head. I was just like, uh, are we going to make it there? But we did, luckily we did, and um, it was, and surprisingly that was not the only time my, I felt like my life was threatened on that trip. So I'll have to tell you about the, um, the other time later. Anyways, if you have any questions or um, if I said anything that was wrong, like the way you say Tanzania, I'm sure I said assalamu alaikum wrong. I'm not very good at Arabic yet. Yet. Um, put it in the comments below. Uh, tell me what the craziest place you traveled is. And have a good day. Um, assalamu or wadan.